Hi, and welcome to On The Move, a show highlighting what's going on in your community. I'm Jessica Houston, your host. In this episode, we'll check out the city's new utility box mural program, get an update on the Museum of Neon Art and Central Park Paseo, hear a message from the mayor regarding pedestrian safety, learn how to sign up for the city's emergency notification system, and get a heads up about some great upcoming events in July. On May 17th, hundreds of Glendale volunteers participated in the 26th annual Great American Cleanup Day and helped to tidy up and beautify the community. A highlight this year was the start of the city's new Beyond the Box Utility Box mural program. Celeste Luna from the Community Development Department attended the event and got a chance to talk with some of the participants and the artists. Through community partnerships, hundreds of volunteers and city staff have joined forces this morning to make improvements throughout Glendale. Let's take a look at some of the projects they'll be working on today during the 26th Annual Great American Cleanup. So we are um, building what we're calling the Second Chance to Grow Garden. Um, this is an idea that our teachers developed actually about a year ago. We came up with the concept um, at a group of teachers at a conference. So with this garden, we, with the students, created a vision of having a wonderful garden where we could plant our own foods, learn about uh, companion planting. We would also share what we grew with our culinary arts program and we hope to have a small farmer's market here where we just sell to the district. And uh, if we have bumper crops, we like to donate things to um, Salvation Army Food Pantry. Um, we tore out all the ivy with the help of the district and a lot of community volunteers and help, including the Kiwanis and Leadership Glendale. And uh, we've had our students design the garden. Um, and now we're, today's the big building day. Um, first of all, it feels good. It feels like you're actually doing something for the community and taking your own time and not the thing you get for it is like pride. You know, I think as, as educators, I think we get a lot of uh, our energy from helping the community and doing good things for kids, and this is just an extension of that and, and helping to, to make this happen for the students. The other part is the ownership piece of this. My students know, even though we have a bunch of helpers here, this is their garden. This is their blood, sweat, and tears. We hope that in 10, 15 years, they'll come and bring their children here and say, look, this is what I did in high school. And hopefully they, uh, they'll have the same expectations of their own children that you know, community service is something that's always needed. The Daily High School isn't the only place getting a little TLC. Through Glendale's Beyond the Box Utility Box mural program, local students and artists are transforming utility boxes into works of art. Let's take a look. This was um, a design that Jonathan Juarez made and it's titled Apophenia which means the tendency for someone to see patterns and connectedness in random things. I'm very proud of his accomplishments. I have another student named Tiffany Tavera who's also involved as well. The mural is called Life is Precious, Don't Blow It. So she told me that she'd been uh, blowing on a dandelion one day and that was where the idea came from. This is my mural called A Busy Building. I chose to participate in this program because I'm very much interested in the idea of civic outreach, uh, in beautifying the city. We have a wonderful city of Glendale filled with uh, business and parks and happy people and I would like to contribute toward that. I uh, encourage the students to get involved in community public art programs. I think it makes a huge impact on the city and it's, it's a tremendous self-esteem booster for my students. That's part of the beauty of living in Glendale and being a part of the Glendale community is that it's such a small community we can all focus on each other to make our surrounding area a better quality of life for everyone no matter your income or your gender or any kind of discriminatory factors are all thrown out the door when everybody's working together on a project. It's great to have wonderful people like these guys to get together, to collaborate, to share ideas, and to make a simple idea into a big idea because there's so many more hands involved. We believe that once the kids learn how to do something with their hands, then that just carries them into all other aspects of their life, whether it be raising their own children or business or community service, whatever it is, and that's a really important part of learning as a, as a human being. Today was all about bringing people and organizations together for the benefit of the community. 
The Beyond the Box Utility Box Mural Program and Second Chance to Grow Garden are a few examples of how Glendale and its volunteers are working to make Glendale a great place to live. I hope this has inspired you to give back and volunteer in the city of Glendale. I look forward to seeing you at the next Great American Cleanup. Thank you for joining us. In December 2013, the Museum of Neon Art, or MONA, broke ground on a new permanent home in downtown Glendale. The building exterior is nearing completion and was recently topped off with a 19-foot tall neon figure of a female diver. Once the exterior building renovations are complete, work will begin on the museum interior. At that time, work will also begin on the adjacent Central Park Paseo and Parking Lot 10 improvement project. This will create an attractive pedestrian walkway alongside the museum, linking Central Park, the Central Library, and the Adult Recreation Center with Brand Boulevard. The Paseo will feature patterned concrete walkways, composite wood decking, seating, decorative lighting and landscaping improvements. The project will also improve the parking lot between the park and the Paseo, with new pay stations and speed humps. The Paseo is expected to be completed in November in time for the museum to open in December or January. Though Glendale is one of the safest cities in the country, pedestrian safety, particularly among seniors, is an ongoing challenge in our community. Here is a message from Mayor Zara Sananian asking for everyone's help to prevent future tragic incidents. Yes, honey. Mommy, where is Grandpa? I'm sure he'll be here soon. the candles. But Grandpa's not here. He'll be here soon. Let's go ahead and blow out the candles. Hello, my name is Zara Sinanyan. I'm your mayor for the city of Glendale. My children, wife, and parents make me who I am. I can't imagine a moment without them. Have you taken the time to explain the importance of road safety to your family? Explain the importance of making eye contact with drivers before stepping onto the roadway and always using a crosswalk. Glendale is one of the safest cities in the nation. Unfortunately, our seniors have become victim to fatal traffic accidents. Together, we can end these preventable fatalities. These are our elders. I need each of you to really ask yourselves, have you done enough to ensure your family is safe? The city of Glendale has always provided its residents a high level of emergency preparedness and response services. We are proud to announce a new service to better notify residents when emergencies affect their neighborhoods. Here is Glendale Fire Department's Emergency Services Coordinator, Brandy Villanueva, to tell you more. Everbridge is the city of Glendale's mass notification system. When there's an emergency event, such as a brush fire or debris flow, the city will generate a message with critical information and send it to potentially affected residents. Whether the information is about street closures, evacuation routes, or shelter locations, it is vital to get this information out as soon as possible. That's why messages from Everbridge will be amongst the first notifications sent to the public. Furthermore, the city is able to select the affected area and notify only those residents making Everbridge the fastest and most efficient way the city is able to notify the public. Everbridge registration is free and easy. Please visit www.glendalefire.org. Submit your registration and you'll be automatically entered into the Everbridge system. Natural disasters and other emergencies are often unexpected, and Everbridge is another way that the city of Glendale is making its residents more prepared. 
Coming up in July is the city's 21st annual cruise night. Here's Brian Byrne with more information. Hi, this is Brian Byrne, Mr. Rock and Roll. Join me for Glendale's 21st Annual Cruise Night. Southern California's most popular car show is returning to downtown Glendale Saturday, July 19th. Stroll down Brand Boulevard and see over 350 classic pre-1979 cars. And, of course, display booths and kids' activities make it fun for the whole family. This year's live entertainment includes The Kingsman, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Louie Louie, the greatest party song of all time, and Abbey Road with their tribute to the Beatles. The show starts at 5.30, and for the first time, there'll be a fireworks spectacular at the end of the evening. Be a sponsor and partner with the City of Glendale for the premier event that draws people from all over Southern California. For more information on this free, family-friendly event, visit GlendaleCruiseNight.com or simply call 818-548-6464. See you there. Another great event coming up in July is the Glendale City Golf Championship. Here is a short video with more details. The Glendale Parks and Open Space Foundation is pleased to announce the third annual Glendale City Golf Championship, which will be held July 2014. Once again, the presenting sponsor will be the local, trusted choice, independent insurance agents. 100% of the proceeds will go to the Glendale Parks and Open Space Foundation to support their mission, which is to foster well-maintained parks, picturesque open spaces, and innovative recreational programs which enrich our entire community. The first round will take place at the Shoal Canyon Golf Club on July 23rd, followed by the finals at the Oakmont Country Club on July 28th. Registration is $85 per player and carts are included. For more information and to sign up, please visit GlendaleGolfChampionship.com or call 818-531-2833. Sponsorship opportunities are available. Please register today and enjoy golfing in our community while supporting our local parks and open space. That's it for this episode of On The Move. Join us next month as we continue to explore the interesting things happening in the city of Glendale. For the latest updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at MyGlendale. You can also stay informed by signing up for our free monthly electronic newsletter, City Connections. Sign up on the city's website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.